friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and today is Friday. So we're gonna talk about my weigh in, my week. I'll give you guys my typical Friday updates. I'm going to give you an update on the scale, the weight scale that I've been using. I've been getting a lot of questions on my thoughts after using it now for about a month. I'm gonna give you an update on that. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, it's amazing. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and some updates. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty darn good week. I finished out my monthly cycle. I talked to you guys last Friday on how I had just started my cycle and I just finished my cycle just a day or so ago and I'm finally feeling better. I'm not bloated anymore. I don't have weird cravings like I get. I'm not as fatigued and tired. That is the one thing I really noticed with this cycle is that I was more tired than usual. And some of that may have to do with the fact that I'm in perimenopause. I'll be 49 here in a couple of weeks. A lot of you have been asking. My birthday is coming up. It is November 18th. My lovely husband's birthday is November 17th and our wedding anniversary is on his birthday, November 17th. So we've got a lot of exciting things coming up for as far as birthdays and anniversaries. And I actually head out on my girls trip to Hawaii on November 11th. I am going to Kona with my friend Rachel and my friend Kelly. We actually traveled to Kauai together last year. Going to Hawaii is something we like to do every year is like a little girls trip. And I'm really looking forward to it. I love Hawaii, it's so relaxing, and I always feel like I come back just rejuvenated and energized after that little girl's trip, especially to such a beautiful tropical destination like Hawaii. Before I talk about a few other things that happened this week, my weigh-in, all of that, I wanted to give you an update on my scale. So this is the Hume scale. I actually shared this with you guys about a month ago, it's a body pod scale, so it actually has a handle that you hang on to when you're on the scale. You actually hang on to it like this on the scale. And what's really cool about the Hume is it's going to measure more than just your weight. Good information, your body mass index, your body weight, your body fat percentage. It's going to give you your metabolic age, your body fat percentage, your body water percentage, body weight, body mass index, bone mass, visceral fat, body fat mass, basal metabolic rate, muscle weight, muscle mass percentage, protein rate, weight without fat, protein mass, subcutaneous fat, standard weight, and weight control. It helps you reach your health goals with access to 56 vital body metrics. It's compatible with Hume Watches, the Apple Health app, Google Fit, and other fitness app. So I've been loving it. I've been using it every single day, sometimes twice a day. Sometimes I weigh in the morning, sometimes I weigh at night, sometimes I weigh both. But what I love more about this than just the number on the scale is all of the other things Hume tells you, all of the other body composition things that matter way more than the number on the scale. So I love that it is just more than a weight scale. It has so much amazing information and the fact that it is as accurate as a DEXA scan still blows my mind. I have been loving this. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you want something that gives you your accurate weight, but also gives you all of the other amazing body composition pieces, definitely recommend the Hume. I will link it down below for you with a discount. Lola update, a lot of you have been asking. I've been trying to give you pretty regular updates on Lola. She's doing amazing. She's doing really, really, really well. She, I have noticed that she's been sleeping a lot more and I don't know if that's a mix of her getting older and just maybe recovering from chemo. I'm going to ask her oncologist about it this next Tuesday. She actually goes in this next Tuesday, October 29th for a one month checkup post finishing chemo. So fingers crossed, everything looks really good. They typically do her blood work and examine her, make sure her lymph, her lymph nodes are not swollen. I check her lymph nodes every day. I'm a neurotic dog mom, so I'm always feeling her neck and things seem fine to me. But last time she went out of remission, we didn't even notice it right away. So just 
Fingers crossed, send please, please, please all the prayers and good vibes that Lola's still in remission and still doing well. Her little body needs a break. Mama needs a break. My wallet needs a break. I just want her to be healthy and happy. I can't stress that enough. So she's doing really well. She's playing, she's eating, she's having, a, she's living her best life. Again, she's sleeping a little bit more. That's a question I'm going to ask, but she's doing great and I'm beyond grateful. So thank you for all of your well wishes and good vibes for Lola. I always tell her how much you guys love her, that you love her as much as I do. She's so amazing and I'm just, I'm so incredibly grateful. Things are going really well with our house. I've been trying to give you periodic updates and what I eat in a day videos. And then of course I'm in the process of filming the second video in our new build series. But where we are right now in the house build is we have our foundation poured. Our foundation for our new house has been poured and they have begun framing our house. That's crazy to me. It has moved so incredibly fast. I feel like the first few weeks, the first month, month and a half was kind of boring because nothing was really happening and all of the updates were just dirt. But now, now the magic is happening. The framing, he said they allow the framers 11 days, but typically they get done in far less time than that. They are paid by the piece, by the job. So they try to get it done as quick as possible. They are very, very particular in Quail Creek where we're moving. Since it is a luxury community, they're very particular on the build. So there's a lot of inspections and things that happen. They actually, he, our superintendent was saying they don't even pay out the framers until it's been through multiple inspections. So they hold a piece of their pay to make sure that it's done right, which I think is amazing because framing is such an important part of the whole house build. I mean, that's the frame, the structure of the home. Once the framing is done, then the stucco goes on in the roof. And I told Troy that I'm excited for the inside. I want to see my cabinets, my flooring, my countertops, but the whole thing has been really, really exciting. It's been very easy. We have had no issues. It's been very streamlined. Our superintendent communicates so well. He gives me updates regularly because he knows that I'm filming for you guys. It's just been a really, really great experience and we're just so excited. We're so incredibly excited for this new home. My plan is once the framing is done, I'll be putting out the next video in the vlog series. And then once they get the outside of the house done and start moving into the inside, then we'll put out the next video. So I'm trying to have some time in between so that I have enough footage and enough updates to share with you. But the home build is going perfectly. Ray is one month with no Diet Coke. He's doing so, so well. He's been drinking the zero sugar iced tea to get his little caffeine fix in the morning. But I'm really proud of him that he hasn't had any Diet Coke for a month. He hasn't had any beer for almost two years. And one thing that we've noticed is his joints, he said, feel a little bit better. He doesn't feel like he has that arthritic pain as much and he hasn't had a gout flare up. So maybe just maybe eliminating the diet Coke is also helping with the gout flare ups, but he's doing really well. He's actually feeling much better. He said he misses it a little bit, but he's done so well not having it. And he's more focused on his health. And if that means eliminating diet Coke, then that means eliminating Diet Coke. And one other quick Troy update. If you remember, he just got his social security disability and his pension just a couple of months ago. Well, we haven't received any of our back pay from social security. So we have, we do have an attorney that we hired. We do have a hearing December 5th to see if we can get our back pay. Let me tell you how important this back pay from social security is. Not only is it a large sum of money that honestly is owed to us, Troy has a birth defect. So he didn't just become disabled a few months before he received his disability. He's actually had this birth defect his entire life and his condition actually worsens with age. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we get approved for that back pay. And if we get the social security disability back pay, we will also get all of the retro pay from the union. We're talking over two years of social security back pay and retro pay, which would come in extremely handy with this new house, with the down payment on the house, as well as with the expenses of building a new house and new furniture and moving. It would just be a godsend. So Cross your fingers, send good vibes for Social Security to approve that back pay for us to get the retro pay from the union. We will know more after the hearing December 5th. I will update you guys on that as well. One other house update is we met with our realtor, like I mentioned in my What I Eat in a Day video, and we're looking at listing our house probably the beginning of December, which is four months out from when our new house is slated to be done. It seems like houses right now in my community specifically are sitting for that three to four month time frame. So we're hoping it doesn't sell right away, as weird as that sounds, because if it does sell right away for some reason, we're gonna have to move somewhere else while our house is finishing being built. But our goal, what we decided would be most beneficial for 
us, especially if we don't get the back pay, which we think we will, our attorney thinks that we will, we'll at least be able to have the money from the sale of this house to put down on our new house. We would like to put 20% of the total value of our new house down, which is a substantial amount of money, so that we don't have mortgage insurance, so we can have a conventional loan, so we can have our house payment be not small at, by any means, but be reasonable for us. So we're really focused on that 20% down. And if we sell this house again, we can use the proceeds for that. And we'll have money, of course, for landscaping and fencing and all the things that aren't included with our new builds. Pictures will be taken after Thanksgiving. And again, we're looking at December 1st to get this house on the market. Again, lots of updates. I'll update you throughout the whole process. So those are all of the updates that I have for you. My week was really good. I got in all my exercise, my workouts. It's been much cooler in the mornings for boot camp, which I love. It makes me so happy. I would much rather work out when it's cold because I get so sweaty anyways than hot. The mosquitoes are gone. Really, this is my favorite time of year in Arizona. The weather has been beautiful. High 70s, low 80s, sunny, perfection. Again, my favorite time of year. One thing I really wanna do is try to get outside more. This is when Arizona people go outside and do things is in the winter because the weather is so nice. I am doing a 5K on Thanksgiving morning and then the day after Thanksgiving, I'm going to hike to Mamak. I think I'm gonna set up a little group on my, as part of my boot camp group, if anybody wants to join me. I, there's a few other hikes I would really like to take, whether they're solo hikes or taking the hike with a friend. I just want to get out more since the weather is so incredibly perfect right now. I'm still focused on whole foods for the majority of my diet. It's become easier and easier as the weeks have went by and I'm feeling and I feel really satisfied eating much more whole food. Now I'm still eating processed foods. I don't restrict or eliminate anything. I'm just really whole food focused for the majority of my meals and snacks and I've noticed that that's really helped me feel full and satisfied. Just feel better overall. I feel like a healthier version of myself. I feel like it's definitely helped with the scale as well. So let's talk about the scale. Let's talk about my weigh-in. My cycle is over and when I stepped on the scale today, I am down 0.4. So I actually lost the little bit that I gained last week, that fluctuation because of my cycle. I lost a little bit more than that and I'm feeling really, really good. To be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty lean and toned up. Even though the scale isn't showing my weight changing very much, my Hume scale is definitely showing those body composition changes, which is what I am really, really focused on. Honestly, as I always say, way more than the scale is my measurements, my body composition. I'm loving my Hume scale for that because it's just reinforcing that I'm doing something right, even if the scale isn't showing a huge change in weight. And I, so far, I'm going, I'm going to continue Continue this way of eating through my trip to up until my trip to Hawaii. I'm still considering it through the end of the year. So that's another update we'll talk about more down the road, but I'm feeling really, really good. I'm really proud of myself. I'm feeling motivated and energized to finish out 2024 strong. Things have just been really, really good. I'm feeling really blessed. I hit 60K here on YouTube, which was so exciting. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for every single 60,000 plus of you that subscribe, watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. This is my full-time job. So you watching my videos is how I actually get paid from YouTube. It's payment for all the hard work I put in. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I did a huge giveaway for the 60K. I did a giveaway on here on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Congratulations to the winners of the giveaway. I'm just feeling blessed and it's because of all of you. So thank you so incredibly much. Now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How are you doing in one of the hardest months of the year, the last three months, the Burr months are the hardest. How's October been for you? Let me know everything down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting my channel. Just thank you for being the most amazing community a girl could ask for. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.